Hello, queens and kings. It's Dana Storka. It's Killer Queen Antique Jewelry. After a little much-needed hiatus, I think going on holiday, coming back, having my office torn apart, and having to move every piece of jewelry I own and sell, plus having to do some of the work myself, was probably just a little too much for me. I burned out a little bit, so my health wasn't great, but I took a little time off and I feel much better now. So today, a little something different. What I'm going to do is an unboxing from an auction that I purchased items from. Well, I blacked this out just because it, trust me, they didn't pay me to advertise for them. So, <laughs> not a sponsored video. All of my own money, of course. And the items that I bought for you all. Well, it's well wrapped. And it took like a week to get here. So I have been patiently waiting for this to arrive. Should I have something else to open it with? Probably. Oh, I hate plastic packing beans. We'll just move those off to the side. So, I, of course, have seen these items because I purchased them. And I'm just removing it from the bag because their tags are on it as well. This will definitely need a deep clean. But it's an antique sterling gilt pearl and that is not a moonstone that is opal white glass with natural seed pearls i found out recently that natural seed pearls are very expensive because I had to replace one on Georgian brooch. Now, oh, let me see if this has any hallmarks. No. No hallmarks. And tiny, because it's only a five and a half. but it can be sized. This is a gorgeous long guard chain with the H. I can't stop saying H. A locket? No, it's a solid. That's a solid sterling watch fob. Um, it's very long, of course, because it's a long guard chain. Now, women would wear these around their neck once or twice. Their watch would be attached to it. And then they would tuck it into their waistband of their blouse or their... belt that's just a gorgeous loose citrine and it was in the lot that I purchased this antique turquoise in set in 18 carat now this could be worn as a pendant today but 
once upon a time. It was probably a fabulous watch fob. Uh, maybe late Georgian, early Victorian. I hope those colors are reading well because it's absolutely gorgeous. remember the exact details so I'll give you the weight when I sell it but I think this one is 17 grams and long guard a gold long guard shade gold is always a good investment always holds it value and of recent it has been going up almost daily oh yes I have waited to see this so it's tangled chain is a bit short, which is sad. But we can put a new chain. Those are gorgeous opals. Of course, we're not going to read here. Victorian opal bracelet. These are large 14 karat gold vintage textured knots. Completely classic. It's a beautiful antique diamond and sapphire bypass ring in 18 karat. Lovely large diamonds because normally when you see them, they are quite small in those rings. Oh, and it is hallmarked. Hopefully I can tell you that about that later. We'll read the hallmarks. Quite tarnished, but in its original box, a vintage calendar of May. a little green gemstone uh, that could be worn as a large charm or, or you can see it was worn as a pendant oh, this one's seriously wrapped 
up. Okay, I see why. It's got some delicate things in it. Check and see if these are gold or just from May. I don't believe they're onyx. I think they're black chalcedony because they're a little translucent. These are definitely chrysoprase and sterling and marcasite. Absolutely gorgeous earrings. Oh, oh, okay. This was just labeled as a brooch, but it's a duet. How beautiful is that? Sterling set with marcasites. Clearly, it says hand set. <laughs> That's a blast from the past, the sterling tie clip. This is fun because I know I have a sterling charm like it. A Venice gondolier. large intricate sterling chain, heavy sterling chain. Now, the gem and why I actually bought that lot. Gorgeous Arteca Moonstone bracelet. Actually, even be a little bit earlier because of that box clasp. It is tiny, but we can extend it with jump rings. Ooh, I see that blue shiller. Yeah, that's absolutely wonderful. I was excited to get this one. Uh, it's Italian. It's 800 silver and it's Pray the Rosary, 1905, the case is 800 silver, and the book is in wonderful condition. Oh my goodness, it still has little bits of paper. In between. That's yeah, wonderful condition. I could do it with a tiny sympathetic clean, but it's still lovely. Ah, uh, another ring. This one is also 18 karat gold. And Victorian, it is Hallmark. Let me see if I can read Hallmarks. Chester, and I think those are 1800 Hallmarks. I'll give you the exact date when I show the ring. It's a snake. 
I think those are garnet. Let's see. No, they're not glowing. So they'll be garnet. And I don't know if they're tiny diamonds. There are tiny diamonds that are gypsy set. It is completely hallmarked in the back. And currently, it's just over a seven by seven. I'm trying to carry more 18 karat gold. Oh, there's just a few more lots. Sorry. Oh, they are well bubble wrapped. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Completely hallmarked Scottish Lucan booth. Yeah, more Scottish pieces. But Scottish marble. Oh, this is so pretty. Beautiful gold filled. Cleaning. Okay, so we, do, we don't often get Taxco here. But I purchased it because it was violets and enamel. Those are vintage, uh, the vintage marks not antique because it's marked 925 sterling. Beautiful at any rate. Now, this is Irish Connemara marble. Independent on chain. Ooh, Scottish and Victorian. Beautiful bloodstone brooch. This is Carnelian. Vintage, probably deco. So well, I will really need the scissors for this one. Ooh. Drop the scissors for this one. Clear the way here. And of course, I didn't attend this auction in person. I attended it online. So this is actually the first time that I'm getting to hold these items. So this lot was described as Venetian, and the very first thing I pulled out was antique and Chinese, but we'll see hopefully the other earring is here. Gorgeous Sterling Cloisonne. That's Italian. Oh, there's another Cloisonne. Well, there's a match. 
And let's see, there is a match. There is a match. Oh, please have another watch a match for Oh, there is. There is another match for this gorgeous cloisonne. Well, this one has an earring back. Now I will test that metal. Because I think it will look better with I mean, they are sterling. Loads of earrings, glass earrings, yum, yum, yum. Oh my, oh my, this, this is very rare glass. The Aventurine, and gosh, I'm trying to think of the name of this. It actually looks like there are gems in the glass. Almost has like a mogul look to it. Of course, they're going to be a little bit different because they're all handmade. I hope you can see this. that this lighting is actually doing it any justice. Now, if you're new to the channel, then you haven't seen foil, Italian foil glass. Not on my channel, but, but if you've been with the channel, you've seen Italian foil glass. These are Murano. Those are Venetian. I believe these to be probably Chinese. Beautiful cloisonne work. This piece, oh, with matching earrings. Oh, yes, yes, yes. French jet. I have to see what's going on with these little, they're probably just the extra string that you use when you put together a necklace. Long, gorgeous, tasseled. These beautiful wedding cake. And that's like French jet, black glass. Now this, this is why, honestly why I bought this lot. These findings are sterling. I will have to definitely restring it. But these are Murano Millefiore. Fabulous, probably Victorian. Glass beads, a little tiny nipple there. They're in wonderful condition. I can't believe it because there are no beads or knots in between. They've been strung, it's probably sterling wire. They should always have a little bead cap or a bead in between. Just to protect the bead. Oh, these, it's definitely a, a box of treasure, I'd say. Well, it should be for what I spent, quite honestly. <laughs> um, I'm gonna check the box, but I think that's it. Nope. Sadly, nothing but packing bubbles. I hate plastic peanuts. Not very environmentally friendly. Let's check this back and make sure that I haven't been out of frame the whole time. And if I have, I apologize. I'm a little rusty in unboxing. 
Yeah, these were put together a little bit later, but they definitely match this gorgeous Art Deco necklace. Uh, oh, oh, there's more. I missed a pair here. Look at these. Oh, my. Pink foil with tiny roses inside. Oh, God, those are so gorgeous. Oh, well. Can't keep it all. At least that's what I tell my husband. And he agrees. Well, kings and queens, I wanted to share this unboxing with you from my recent auction. And if you see something you like, keep an eye out for it this weekend. Because once I clean all this up, most of it will be for offer. I have to get the opal repaired. But apart from that, everything else looks wonderful. I'll see you all very soon. This is October the 6th, so I'll see all of you who show up later for Jewel School. Have a wonderful rest of your day.